Don't put a date on change. What's going on, church families, church life? Bring y'all another video. I pray y'all are having a blessed day. So today we're going to talk about why we shouldn't put a date on change. Because change is one of those things that just happens. One day we get tired of something and we start working toward reaching that goal, that process of becoming a better person. And we shouldn't put a date on change because change starts today. The only thing that's in our control is what we do in the moment. See, the present time and day, the present moment is when you should change. Because when you start putting a date on it, right? For example, a lot of times we come up with these New Year resolutions, right? And we start off strong. We start off real, real strong. But the moment we do something that doesn't fit our agenda of change, we start to think like the rest of the year going to be bad too. And that's not true. See, a lot of times we give up when we fall short on ourselves. And the Heavenly Father is saying, no, keep on going. Keep on persevering for that moment of letting go of the things that's keeping you bound, the very thing that you're doing that's making you depressed. Become that new creature in Christ because God want to see something different happen for your life. But you can't rely on your own strength. Don't lean toward your own understanding. Lean towards God understanding about the situation and about how he can completely transform you from the inside out. See, Paul didn't know he was going to change. He had his mind made up on what he wanted to do. He didn't like believers. He prosecuted them. He threw them in prison. He did all sorts of things. But you know what happened? He had an encounter with Lord Jesus. And that one encounter led to his transformation. He became a powerful vessel for the Lord. And he went in the synagogues. He preached in places where they didn't want him to be. He brought glory to the name of the Heavenly Father. So what I realized in that situation, when Saul became Paul, I realized the only true way you can really change is when you Surrender when you let go of self in order to live in the body of Christ. That's where the transformation happens. And there's no date on when that's going to happen. Because change starts today. So don't put a date on change. Because the words say in Romans 3 verse 23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It's always going to be a moment that you feel weak. It's always going to be a moment that you come short of the glory of God. But don't allow that to dictate the rest of your life. That's just one moment. A righteous person may fall seven times, but keep getting back up. That's the power of having faith in the heavenly father, knowing that he will continue to work on you. He will complete the work that he has begun in you. He will change your mind, your heart, your soul. You will become a better person. See, the reason why we need a renewed mind is because we got to stop thinking negative about ourselves every time we may make a mistake. We got to let go of our own will in order to fulfill the will of the Heavenly Father. And His will for your life is for you to become a new creature in Christ. Whoever love, whoever believe in Lord Jesus shall not perish, but receive everlasting life. God wants to rejuvenate you. He wants to restore you. He wants to establish that, that bond, that relationship between you and Him. It's not about how many days we put before ourselves when it come down to letting go of, of bad habits. It's about how much 
do you trust the Heavenly Father? That's what it's about. Will you allow the Heavenly Father to use you for his will? Because when you do his will, that's what's going to lead you to a better life. And as you proceed to do his will, don't focus on negativity. Because it's always going to be people that say something about you. That hold you to your past. It's going to be people that don't like you for no reason. Because they may be trying to prosecute you because of your faith. But don't dwell on that negativity. Don't even dwell on the negativity that you feel about yourself. Because God is doing a new thing in you. All you have to do is focus on Lord Jesus. Let today be the day you change. Let today be the day you surrender, you submit to the will of God. Let today be the day that everything about your life transforms. So that you may bring glory to the name of the Heavenly Father. By having faith in Lord Jesus, by following his plan and not your own. You know, I was thinking about when Lord Jesus had to carry his cross. You know, he was whipped and everything. So, of course, he was weak in that moment. And as he was carrying the cross, he fell. And he needed help to carry the cross. And someone volunteered to help him. You know, when I think about that part of Lord Jesus laying his life down, I realize sometimes certain stuff become too heavy to carry by ourselves. And we need help. And when I recognize that part in the scripture, I realize the God that helped Lord Jesus was a representation of the Holy Ghost. That was a representation of what Lord Jesus was going to help us carry when it get too heavy. And it's going to be days when certain stuff just get too heavy for your life. And it's going to be hard to become that person that God has called you to be. But when you realize that it's not your power, but it's the power of the Lord filled with the Holy Ghost, that's the power that's going to help you get through those challenging days. When life begins to weigh down on you, Lord Jesus is there to bear the burden with you. So don't worry about how long it's going to take for you to change. Just focus on who's going to help you. Because the more you spend time with the Heavenly Father, the more you follow Lord Jesus, the more you read the Word of God, the more you fast, the more you do spiritual things that's of God so that you may deny the flesh, the more you will change. It doesn't happen overnight. That's why I say don't put a date on change because it always happens in the only moment that free will actually matters. And that's the present moment. This moment that me and you having right now. This conversation that me and you having right now. Today. Right now, the current moment. And if you're seeing this message, God want to let you know, don't beat yourself up. Yeah, you may have made a mistake today. But even after a second of making that mistake, guess what? Once that second pass, it's in the past. And God said, when you repent, he will remember your sin no more. So allow God to continue that mighty work that he has begun in you. Because he has something for your life. But you got to trust his plan. So let today be the day you change. And continue to live that way. Take one step at a time. And when life becomes heavy, remember who's going to help you carry that burden. It's Lord Jesus. Filled with the Holy Ghost. Let that power be upon your life today. Don't put a date on change. Because it begins in this moment. 
I pray this bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. I love y'all.